I've always wanted to be a writer. I always knew I, I wanted to do some kind of writing. I just didn't know what. I, I wanted to write the great American novel. I wanted to you know, do all those kinds of wonderful things. But um, so I went to USC as for graduate program as a graduate program, and I kind of fell into screenwriting, and that's kind of where my career started. I see. Where was that born from? The uh, I guess you have a love of writing, right? Like, how did that come about? Well, the story that I always say about where my writing came from. So I, I used to play water polo at Flint Ridge, and um, on the way back from games, I would make up stories about my life to the whole team, and my <laughs> basically lie, <laughs> and, my, and my coach would say, "You're a great storyteller." You should be a writer. And I remember that was the first time I thought, maybe I should be a writer. And then when my dad got, uh, he, he got sicker and sicker as I grew up. And I think to, one of the ways to help me deal with some of his uh, illness was to write poetry, bad poetry, but poetry. And that was kind of the beginning of, of, learn, of wanting to be a writer and writing and putting words to pages and stuff. I never thought of that. Just the, um, the exaggeration of lying. Yeah is a good creative uh, um, outlet, isn't it? Yeah, I was just telling these wacky stories about yeah. my life and like, right. obviously <laughs> didn't happen, but and, and every, I'm pretty sure everyone, I mean, obviously everyone knew what I was saying wasn't true, but it was, it was just, I mean, storytelling basically, right? Yeah, but I think back to kids I knew that were great storytellers, I mean, but they were liars. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but they, I mean, they would tell fantastic stories of their life, you know? Yes. Things that they did. Even my father used to do that. You know, I mean, you'd have my my father would have you believing that you know he played on the Yankees with Babe Ruth, and, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, but you would believe it. You yes. know, <laughs> I mean, you'd actually believe it, and I think he believed it too. <laughs> but he was very creative. You know, he was a great uh, you know writer and storyteller as well. So. Did you play with Babe Ruth? Uh, I did. I uh, yeah. <laughs> played for many years in Japan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and did you both pitch and uh, hit? Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I was actually, um, I both pitch, hit, and fielded all nine pitches <laughs> oh, at the same time. Uh, in the same game, at the same you game. would play All play nine every... positions, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you are still the, the all-time leading um, home run hitter? Yeah, I've hit 757 home runs. Wow, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> wow i i we've never had as a, a famous of, of a guest yeah. yeah are you in are you in both uh u.s and japan hall of fame yes yeah and oh. call and the college baseball hall of fame oh well. really yeah <laughs> uh, tell tell me tell me about your induction what city uh is the college uh baseball hall of fame in <laughs> Oh, it used to be in Los Angeles. It's not okay. anymore. <laughs> wow, that's a good answer. Wow, <laughs> I'm le I'm learning how to story lie in, in, uh, story in ways that I never knew before. I'm, I mean, wow, this is mind expanding. <laughs> well, uh, so, Cor, to bring the show back to uh, your your dad and your skills, like, did your dad know you to be this person? Did he know this uh, part of you? No, um, I don't think he ever knew that I was a writer per se. Um, my liar? mom, <laughs> liar. <laughs> storyteller. Um, he probably knew that part. Okay, of me. Uh, but he didn't know that I was a writer. And even you know, one of the stories I tell about my mom and me when we were looking at careers and you know whether I could actually be a screenwriter. I remember him, her and I looking up like Asian American, Japanese American screenwriters, and just not seeing a lot of them. And she she even told me, "Are you sure you want to do this?" And I, I said, "Yeah, yeah. This is this is what I want to do with my life." And, you know, I, I just remember thinking that this was going to be not possible. And that's why, you know, one of the things I always tell students now is that it's like life is different because there's so many, you know, there's there's a lot of Asian Americans, a lot of Japanese Americans, there's a lot of people of color in the film industry that wasn't there, you know, 20, 30 years ago when I first started. How did you actually get into the industry? Funny story. So my, uh, so I was, you know, writing a lot of screenplays. I was, you know, I made, I won competitions. I did all those kinds of things. But the way I got in was my mother, who was a hustler, she uh, cut hair of a famous Japanese director, and she pitched me as the writer to rewrite his English screenplay. Oh. Um, and so that's how I got my first uh, movie made. Was It was a Lionsgate movie. It was a pretty terrible movie, though. Um, well, very terrible movie, but it was my first movie. But a major studio. Yeah, and it, it came out on Lionsgate, and it did really well, and all of that good stuff. So that was my first movie. What was oh. it called? Oh, I'm ashamed to say it, but uh, oh. <laughs> no, it's good. I'm just kidding. It's called Haunted Highway. It was a it was a horror movie, a small horror movie. Oh. 
Wow. And did you experience other barriers, uh, you know, to progress your career uh, because you're uh, Japanese descent? Yeah, you know, at, there were two kinds. I, I, I always joke that there were two kinds of Asians in the industry at the time. There was ones who were super down and they wanted to support other Asian Americans. And then there were other Asian Americans who were like, I could be, I'm the only Asian American in this room. And so I don't want to help any other people because then now I'm going to be seen as the other Asian. So there was, that was a barrier amongst Asian Americans. The other, you know, a lot of times the stories I wanted to tell were about the stories that I could relate to stories that involve people that look like me. And in the beginning of my career, that's what I wanted to write about a lot. And just no one was interested, like literally no one was interested in watching those kinds of movies. And so I struggled in the beginning of my career writing stories about people that look like me that no one wanted to watch. So those are the kind of, the, and nowadays you'll, you'll see movies that feature Asian Americans or other people of color and it's much more acceptable and much more, there are more avenues of, of success doing those kinds of things. 